ROS is an amazing simulator with the help of Gazebo and Argus. But the base point are robots. We have some popular commercial robots like Turtlebot, Husky Robot, Franka, Panda, Robotic Arm. But if you want to make something custom for your company or any idea presentation, you need to understand URDF. Luckily, all robotic software simulators like MATLAB, VBOTS, ROS utilize URDF for robots to be in their simulation. And in this lecture, you are going to first start with very basic mobile robot URDF in XML syntax. Then we will move towards Zacro formatting and adding 3D meshes. And in the last part, we are going to explore the URDF Zacro formatted of commercial real world robots like Husky and Panda robot. It is going to be really interesting. Let's start with creating our mobile robot package. So let's start from this point of our ROS1 wiki GitHub repository where we have an issue for URDF and creation of a robot. I will make the package, then make a robot inside of it using URDF and then we will close this issue. If we go into the VS code, we have multiple packages. Let me go inside of this workspace, source folder, and then I will create the package. Ross one wiki and here we have multiple packages catkin create name of the package is going to be mobile robot the name is so generic because we are going to be using it for building next upcoming projects standard messages ross pie and that's enough it has been created i am going to perform get can make so it can register my newly created package and where it is mobile robot inside of it i am going to be creating another folder urdf i would be needing launch file source is already there urdf let's create a file and i am going to say rover.urdf it's going to create my robot before moving any forward i would be requiring an extension two of the extension and if you search ROS as I already have done it you can find one of the most important extension if you are working with ROS is ROS by Microsoft this is very important the next one is ROS snippet by Bejar I hope I pronounced it correctly these two should be installed to make your life very easy let me show you how for example we want to create a robot I will use the robot tag press enter and it is going to complete the next thing if i want to create a link i press enter and it completes all of this code like html and css code or writes code for you that makes your development quite easy so before developing links and joints i have to show you the page that is this urdf tutorial page we will be covering building a visual robot model with urdf from scratch you can get some information about URDF package uh, and its workflows, how it is going to be dealing with collateral parts, URDF DOM and other stuff. I will not be explaining that. So URDF visual robot building from scratch is going to be what we are covering in this lecture. And at the end of this lecture, you will be able to understand how this robot is made. Okay, coming back to our robot if i want to visualize what's inside of this code or how it physically looks like i'm going to press ctrl shift p then i'm going to say ross and i'm going to say preview urdf this is the function that displays your urdf files and we have a box here how we get a box let me simplify this whole link thing for you i'm going to delete inertia tag and collision tag there are three tags inertia collision and visual but i'll just keep visual tag for now uh, as it's just visual development and uh, the collision and inertia tag is required when we are dealing with three dimensional forces and environments physical engine requires that when we move to gazebo for our simulation sensor testing and simple joints connection we don't need visual and collision at the start so it is a box how do i know that inside of the visual we have this origin, we have this geometry and material. Then the visual tag closes, the link closes. These are the three things inside of it. And it is not necessary for you to complete every single thing. For example, I don't want this origin. I can delete it, but I will not be using it. The geometry box is what I would be needing. Let me make some changes. One in X, 
the second one is in y and the other one in z let me make it smaller whenever i press ctrl s you can see the change has been applied that's uh, what i wanted to show you that uh, this helps us to develop robots very easily from scratch because we can directly see how the numbers are affecting the whole robot body apparently that's just a simple shape that's what might not be making any sense but after a few minutes everything is going to make sense color is rgb r is uh, red is said to be zero and if i enable g i've pressed save it changes to green if i enable red and green it is going to turn yellow so a lot of things that you can do i am not applying any texture so i'm not writing inside of it that's how you create simple bodies let's make it useful i am going to remove this link and i'm going to say my robot is named as to be rover let's just say rover i saved it it removed because there is no link in joint so link full create a link full and create a joint and joint to be full as well joint is very necessary when we want to connect things the name of the link is going to be base i don't want to mess with these things for now inertia tag is not i'm going to be dealing visual tag is what i'm just interested in the box dimensions are going to be i'm just saving you time 0.75 in x 0.4 in y and 0.1 in z this is the box size that i'm interested in the color i want is black so all of these are going to be zero i press save it becomes a black brick very small brick okay the next thing is i want to make it at a certain height from the ground okay and here that's what i'm going to do i am going to say this is the base link and uh, i think i should write base link because it's a link and uh, this should be base joint it's not going to be a revolute not going to be a wheel how this is going to be rotating it's going to be a fixed thing to the parent link you can name parent link to whatever you want it's just a transform tree that is being created so i'm going to say world or you can say base footprint meaning the shadow of the base this body on the ground you can say that child link is base link that we just created what is the axis this axis this type and this origin and this limit is going to make sense when we shift towards actual simulation so base joint is fixed i'm going to say it's at a certain height from the y-axis let me save it you should be looking at this output on the simulation i press save and it rises up in the air i just want it to be one three five okay and it is a little bit at height from the ground and the ground is considered to be base footprint okay the next thing is once our first link has been created i would say wheel link or front right wheel as it is going to be a four wheel car i need four wheels now this is going to be base link i am now going to create another link that is a full link name is going to be wheel front link wheel front link that helps us a lot by giving wheel because wheel is going to be repeated again and again origin is i'm pressing tab it shifts to all the highlighted values if i want to change mass is not yet applied origin is not going to be changed it's not just the box size that i want to change because the wheels are never a box so we have other options as well like cylinder or you can select both of these if i select this i don't need these geometric tags so i'm just going to select cylinder the other option is something like sphere we'll look into it but for now let's go with the cylinder its radius is going to be 0.15 press tab it shift to the length 0.1 is going to be the length the color is going to be red i'm pressing save and it produces a body but the problem is why it is black the main question i think the reason is of the joint there is no joint for it that uh, connects it although still it should not be black but i'll fix it 0 0.15 0 0.1 and uh, the cylinder is created i am going to say now as the link has been created i am going to consider this is as a child but the parent is going to be base link okay because i want to connect it to the base of the robot and the wheel is going to be connected accordingly as you can see wheel has been 
disappeared but disappearance is because of it got into this thing inside of it if i change this origin press save you can see it is there and i want to bring it to the actual point which is going to be 0 0.25 in x 0 0.4 in y and 0, 0.0 in z in simple motion but as you can see it is flat on the ground i want it to be 90 degree rotated along the x-axis and you can see it became like a wheel at a particular point but apparently you can see the body is looking small so i'm going to change 0 0.8 and 0 0.7 save it it becomes little bigger before moving forward let's fix the color so we can see the things i'm going to make it red and coming to the joint this time the joint is not revolute not fixed there is another type continuous because the wheels are not limited this revolute joint is causing the robot to have a certain rotation till certain point but we want it to be continuously rotating so we don't have the limits for it the wheel seems to be ready but it does not seems to be like front right wheel it seems to be rear wheel and it's right also so wheel rear right and i would make it as well so the next thing is because we have the left ones as well i am going to now copy it as all of the properties are going to be same one thing before moving on this cylinder is going to be applied in the collision later so i should copy it accurately copying it as this was the rear front wheel and the next one is going to be the rear left wheel I'm going to just bring in everything and it is going to be not joint name naming convention is again incorrect wheel right joint and wheel right joint wheel left joint this name causes a lot of problems when we fall into same names and the error is not informed properly where it lies so now this is not a right wheel it is a left wheel although it is rare and it is going to be a cylinder it is going to be a red collision its base link is going to be parent and its child link is going to be left wheel but what is the main difference in the x-axis it is going to be negative let me save it and you should see a wheel here and now we have our wheel here it seems to be an interesting robot but we need more wheels on the front front right and front left so i am going to copy the both left and right and i'll name them properly then we'll see the robot the last change is very simple in x they are going to be negative for both of the front wheels and let me press save and see the magic we have more wheels now all of the four wheels are ready and seems to be our robot is perfect in shape we just need to add certain things inside of it and make it a proper working robot inside of gazebo it is going to be interesting okay we have our robot apparently but it's inside of a visualizer of the plugin of Microsoft. But to bring it in an actual environment, we have to look into transforms and RVs, how the robot is going to be behaving in the environment. And then there comes the gazebo part. Transform are the first point because we have to test the rotating joints, the dynamic joints. They should be rotating in the actual or the required direction because the simulation does not understand anything i can be doing something like rotating the wheels in the forward direction the front wheels and the rear wheels to be rotating in the reverse direction i can do that so we have to fix these with transforms and within transform there are two categories joint state publisher and robot state publisher you need to understand this in a robot we have two things fixed joints and non-fixed joints so fixed joints are those which are not going to be moving obviously but non-fixed joints are those which are moving like tire motor connections and at those specific points the joints which are going to be creating the motion of the robot robot state publisher 
is a publisher for the transform of non-fixed joints and the rotation matrix for all the joint connections we have the kinematics robot state publisher also published the whole kinematic structure of the robot and its rotation matrices joint state publisher is only responsible for dynamic joints transform publishing in our viz, we have to visualize both of these publishers and finalize our robot then move towards gazebo let's see before directly moving to our viz, we need to fix certain things number one we need to define axes we need to make color acceptable for that i want to keep the base red and i am going to move to it is going to be black on the wheels i have to write something here and it turns black provide the name of it it's necessary for our viz, i guess so i'm going to make an appropriate name here let me copy it and uh, we are going to do all of it copy it and paste it to all other available wheels i have it's black i'm going to press save and all my wheels are now black the base is red apparently everything is fine we are now going to create a launch file let me close this up and i'm going to say rwiz.launch this is going to be a launch file again the plugin is going to help me complete the code i would be needing a node that is going to be of rwiz i would be needing another node basically two other nodes it's going to be robot state publisher i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it same for here joint state publisher these are not just names; these are the package names and uh, the name of the nodes as well if you have gone through the nodes lecture you will understand uh, there are no inputs to it so i'm going to stop the nodes here and that's it it is going to help me uh, bring my robot in rvis then we will move towards what is the joint state and robot state let's launch it what was the name of the package mobile robot and rwiz.launch let's see there are going to be errors so what does it says it requires robot description yes obviously and robot state publisher and joint state publisher has failed in ROS, we have a parameter server parameter servers looks for some parameters that are essential and required by these nodes these both nodes required are parameter that is robot description you can see here it's a sort of a value that has been pre-stored that this robot description contains the robot file or i should say a urdf i'm going to say param name of the param is robot description here i am going to say where you can find out the urdf file it's inside find the mobile robot package and inside of that is a urdf folder then there is a urdf rover urdf now once i have saved this urdf file in the robot description but before moving keep in mind that it does not contain a value it is a text file as urdf we are providing it's not some numerical thing so it's a text file urdf that we are saving in robot description and the next thing is we have to make some changes in the urdf as well i don't want to waste more time on showing you some errors the thing is you can see this is the base joint and the base joint is from the base link there is nothing in this whole file that is named as base footprint so i'm going to create an empty link which is going to have no property and still be a link okay so base footprint so you can create a tree of transforms out of it let me launch it and see uh, do i get any errors or not i get a lot of errors i wanted you to see this error because it is really essential but before closing i'm going to show you one thing if i say base footprint and i am going to add robot model i am also going to add a transform here transform and robot model robot model is going to show me the robot i have on the robot description parameter transforms are going to be the transforms the tf for the chain that i have in the links and the joints okay fixed frame is base footprint i am going to save this file this uh, configuration that i want to see transform i want to see the robot model and the fixed frame is base footprint i'm going to save it as a configuration file inside of my package where it is source ros one 
mobile robot let's create another one and i am going to say config that is going to have robot that's it <laughs> robot base footprints because i don't want to run again and again and add these two things i'm going to utilize this configuration but you can see one important thing that base footprint is not working the fixed joint is working but these two are not working okay i'm going to stop it and clear it up let's go to the urd and the problem is that whenever you define a joint the revolute joint specifically or in our case they were continuous joint this axis must be defined so i'm going to press this find this with control f by after selecting it and i want you to replace all of these with axis x y with this specific value so it sets a value of x uh, rotation to one that's been applied i don't want this to be applied to the fixed frame and next thing is i'm going to create an argument argument is going to store my value the name of the argument is always config file the value is going to be from get the always config file and it is inside of config folder and it is named as robot.rvis this is the file i'm referring to robot.rvis now i want you to utilize this into rvis that uh, hey rvis i have something for you to load and it is going to be a little interesting minus d the argument that is arg that i want to paste the value here and that is rvis config file which is the same as this thing which contains the value this and this value is basically meaning that we have this specific uh, file that i want to rvis to run so everything seems to be fine let's run it this time you can see we have the robot working and in the terminal we don't have any sort of warning or error you can see the robot wheels are there there are transforms and it did not require to add fixed frame base for paint robot model and transforms interesting but what was the whole theory of joint state publisher and robot state publisher let me show you does it make sense or not i am going to get rid of joint state publisher for now and i'm going to run this again and you can see the wheels are now showing me error there can be several reasons for this but for now the one is all of the wheels are continuous joints if you can see in the urdf all of the wheels joints are continuous where are they continuous they are not fixed so robot state is only publishing about the fixed joint for continuous revolute anything that is dynamic dynamic transforms are required so joint state publisher is required and let me take it to the next level i am going to utilize joint state publisher gui okay that is going to be really interesting uh let me stop this for that you also need to have this package installed you can do that by sudo apt get install ros noit take joint state publisher gui you can do that but i press tab to auto complete i already have it so i'm just going to launch it and let me show you what this actually does here you can see i have the robot i have just some bars for the joint that i have wheel rear joint wheel rear left joint and stuff like that what i can do is i can grab it and i can make it move and this is basically showing you the effects of transform this bar is publishing transform for the wheels and as the transform moves the body connected to the transform also moves okay this is good but you can see unacceptable behavior is happening the wheel should not be moving like this the simulation does not know anything we have to tell the simulation about what we want we want the wheels to be rotating in the forward direction and that is going to be not x axis that is going to be along the y axis for all of the wheels i am going to make that change with vs code just one and press enter it automatically saves so now if i run this and now you can see it's still rotating in a direction that i don't want it so what we have to do we have to look at the transform first the red one is the x the green one is the y the blue one is the z so basically our robots wheel should be rotating along the z axis that's what we have learned here 
and I am going to make the change for from 0, 0.0 to 1 there are four of these I want you to change 0, 0.0 I want you to change to 1.0 all of these are not changed and only rotating in the Z axis there can be some exceptions like you can now see that we have to rotate the wheels in the negative z axis you can give minus one as well so now the wheels are rotating in a proper way where we want them to rotate you can see they are rotating in a way that robot will move forward important point here uh, wheel rear right joint where it is i have to stick this always on the top where is the rear wheel if i bring it to the positive values it is rotating forward if i bring the left wheel to the positive side of the values you can say here they are moving forward and same for the front right and front left so everything is working perfectly in most of the scenarios what i have to do i have to rotate if i move forward from negative to positive values one wheel is rotating in the opposite direction and the other one on the forward direction so in that scenario i have to change this axis of rotation so our robot is ready this is the script that is making this robot work let's move on